I got my bunny ears on and I'm ready to start cooking. So I'm just gonna show you, I've laid out everything, all the ingredients I need. And so me and my daughter Haley, who got our bunny ears on, see our bunny ears? And we're gonna start getting ready for Easter dinner. All right, so here are the items for my deviled eggs. Um, my zucchini relish, Dijon mustard, mayonnaise. I might put a little paprika on it. I was gonna make a sweet potato casserole, but I decided just to do sweet potatoes. These are the ingredients for my Arkansas green beans. This is Grandma Lynn Hart's cat, or veg all dish which I am gonna share with you. Um, that was something his grandma did for us all the time. Uh, the stuff for funeral potatoes, my banana pudding, I, and I, I'm not gonna make it today. I'm gonna make the, the banana, the put pudding part first, and then everything else I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Haley's favorite corn casserole, my pineapple upside down cupcakes, my lemon pretzel dessert, and then the, um, the, what are they called, nest egg baskets, whatever. And these are the ingredients I need. Well, I have more over there, I guess. For my homemade carrot cakes, I'm gonna make the carrot cake truffles and the carrot cake rolls. And then of course, I picked this up for me. Haven't ate it yet, but. So here are everything um, you'll see in my flour and brown sugar and, and uh, sugars over there. So now it's time to get going. We're gonna turn the TV on, watch a show. And then um, my kids helped me get the dishes done so I wouldn't have to worry about that today. The first thing we're gonna do is start the eggs for the deviled eggs. BSB farm eggs. There's my worker right there. She's my sidekick. She's the one that helps me. Well, we're gonna do the funeral potatoes and we're gonna do the corn casserole. We're gonna prep that and get that going. And then um, I think then we're gonna start the desserts. She's gonna prep this all and then cook it tomorrow. No, I think I'm going to cook it today Oh, because it takes forever to cook these and then we can reheat them up. We'll put, put them in the big cooler at the barn. Okay, eggs are started. Now we're going to move on. I'm going to share with you the corn casserole recipe because it's super easy. My daughter's doing the funeral potatoes, which is a little more difficult. I'm going to want to be able to get all the recipes in. So it's so easy. Here we go. One can of... Drain whole kernel corn. I'm doubling mine, so I have two. And then one can of cream of cream of corn soup. Cream of corn, not soup. I'm doubling mine, so I need two. There we go. And then it's two sticks. Well, one stick of butter, but I'm doing two. Can I have a spoon, please? One box of Jiffy Mix. And then one thing of sour cream and of course I'm doing two here you go I guess we have some sour cream that was kind of yucky all right and then two cups of cheese but I'm doing four and then the last thing I mean like I said so easy four eggs well two eggs I'm doing four saute means that your um veggies are going to be soft so if those onions are soft, you're good. Mm. They're gonna cook again, so you should be okay. All right, so you're just gonna stir this all together, put it in your casserole dish, and bake it at 375 for like, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I mean, just super easy. And this is my daughter Haley's favorite dish. She likes corn. And she always asks me to make this. All right, this. that's it. It's all done. Now let's stick it into this casserole dish. This is probably the easiest, fastest thing you'll ever make. Okay, ready to go. I'm gonna stick it I'm in the oven. I'm making my husband's grandmother's dish called the Veg All Dish. It's called Grandma Linhart's Veg All Dish. So what I did was I put a half a stick of butter in a pan, and then I have one onion that I chopped. It's about one cup. And then I have um, just about one and a half cups of chopped water chestnuts. Ew. Haley doesn't like those. And then I have three cups of chopped celery. So I'm gonna put this um, in a pan, or it's in a pan. I'm gonna put this on the stove just to kind of cook up the vegetables and make them nice and tender. And then when that comes out, we're gonna put our dish together. I got my celery, my water chestnuts, and my onions cooking. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of minced onion, a tablespoon of garlic, 
and then about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, I'm just gonna keep stirring this. The veggies are really close to being done. Smells great. My veggies are tender, so you're gonna start by adding one can of veg all, but I am doubling my recipe. Make sure you drain it. And then it's one cup of mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise. So one cup of mayonnaise. And then two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Actually, it's one cup. Two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Shredded cheddar cheese. I'm actually gonna mix this because it's gonna melt the cheese here in a second because my veggies are still hot. You can also add lima beans, a can of lima beans if you want. We've done that before, but my family doesn't really like lima beans, so we're gonna leave them out. So just mix that all up before you add the veggies because they're hot. As I'm making it, I'm like, okay, something doesn't seem like right. So you're gonna top it with breadcrumbs and you don't mix them with butter. So I'm actually gonna top mine with the cornflakes because we used it in the funeral, funeral potatoes. So you're just gonna top it with the cornflakes, breadcrumbs. You could even use Ritz crackers if you want to. So, sorry, it's a little loud here. All right, and now we're gonna bake it at 375, probably for about 40 minutes. So I'd say I probably put two cups of the rice crisp or these cornflakes on. All right, so put it in the oven. I'm gonna put it in the oven, bake it, and then we'll be back to see what it looks like. As you can see, I have gotten already three of our casseroles done. So now I'm gonna combine my brown sugar and my butter because we're gonna be making the upside down pineapple cupcakes. So I got my butter in. And that's a half a cup of brown sugar. You're just gonna cook it until it's melted and then we're gonna put it in the bottom of our cupcake holders. I have sprayed each of these pans with oil just so it doesn't stick. So I'm gonna start by putting the brown sugar into each of these pans and we're gonna do one pineapple ring and the maraschino cherry and now we've got the topping done. Then we're gonna do the batter. Now you're gonna put a pineapple ring into each one of them. I don't know if you guys can see me. Let me back you up a little bit. There you go, there you go. Okay, so a pineapple ring in each one. And it fits pretty perfect in these big cupcake holders. You'd have to cut them down and make them into pieces for the other ones. It is gonna take a little more work than just making the cake, but I don't know, I just wanted to do something a little different. And make sure you do not dump out the juices. Keep your juices, you need it for your cake. So it looks like each can has six of eight, nine, 10 rings. So my daughter likes pineapple, she'll eat it. And it's the no sugar added pineapple. Yeah, this is my favorite. My favorite fruit is a pineapple. I like pineapple flavored everything. I like pineapple shakes. I like just pineapple juice. So we're gonna combine the dry ingredients first, then I'm gonna put that aside and we're gonna combine the wet ingredients. And then we're gonna slowly add the dry ingredients and the pineapple juice into our actual batter. So let's get started. So it's one and a half cups of flour. And then it is one teaspoon of baking powder. one quarter teaspoon of salt, and one cup of sugar. We're gonna whisk this together, and then we're gonna do the wet ingredients. Sorry, I have to write my stuff down. Like I write my, my recipes on my, uh, in my notebooks. 
I got so much chicken scratch. When I think of recipes and write down recipes, I have chicken scratch. I've, I mark out ingredients, add ingredients, because I want to make things my own. I don't want to be a copycat. I want to make sure that I'm doing my own recipes. So I get inspiration from other recipes, and then I kind of create my own. Okay, so for the wet ingredient, it is um, one stick of butter softened. And then two eggs. Looks like I got a crumb in there. Two eggs. We're gonna mix that together. All right. So now we're gonna alternate one cup of pineapple juice with our batter. So you're gonna do a third of the batter first. And it is gonna be thick. Mix that in, and now we're gonna turn it on low and we're gonna do a third of the pineapple juice. There we go. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Beautiful. And now you're gonna do a half of what's left. See, now a half of the pineapple juice. All right, so now the rest of the flour. That looks great. And then rest of the pineapple juice. You guys, this smells amazing. I can't even tell you how much it smells so good. I set my oven to 350. Now we're gonna put the batter over. This batter looks just amazing. I got a quarter cup here, and uh, I think this is perfect. So a quarter cup should work. So we're just gonna scoop them into here. I'll just start with a quarter, then if I can add more after. Just wanna make sure I get one in every one. So you might wanna double this recipe. It's not made to do a big, huge cake. I think it's made to just do a round cake. So you might wanna double it. And then it looks like I can do eight extra large cupcakes, so. Oh, this batter is beautiful. While the um, upside down pineapple cupcakes are cooking, we're now going to get together the carrot cake roll. It's like a pumpkin roll, but it's a carrot cake roll. So we're gonna combine all the dry ingredients first. So it is three quarters of cup of flour, and then it is a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then it calls for different spices for like pumpkin pie. So I just got a pumpkin pie spice and it is one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. So you're gonna whisk that together and then you're gonna set it aside and then we're gonna do the wet ingredients. Now we're gonna combine the wet ingredients. It's three eggs and you're gonna whisk them first. Now you're gonna add three quarters cup of white sugar, two tablespoons of oil, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk that together. And then we're gonna add our dry ingredients to it. Another easy, super easy recipe. All right, so now we're gonna add our dry ingredients to this. And it isn't a lot of batter, but it's gonna be like a pumpkin roll where it's really thin. Smells yummy. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna get my carrots ready to go. That's great. Now it's time to get the carrots ready. I took off the outside because you don't want that the outside dirty part on. And it says two cups of shredded carrots. So you're just gonna shred like this and I'm actually gonna chop them a little bit too because I don't want them this long in the carrot roll. So. This is actually really nice and calming. So you're just gonna shred this until you have two, two cups. And you kinda wanna push it down too because you know you want the carrots to be the star of the show, right? Cause it's a carrot roll. All right. Cut that off. So just keep 
doing this till you get the two cups. Now we're gonna fold in the carrots. It's two cups of carrots shredded and chopped. And then we're gonna put them into the pan really thin. I did not have parchment paper, so I just sprayed it. It'll be fine. Then I'm gonna put a little bit in uh, my this pie tin because I'm gonna make those truffles. So you're just gonna fold in the carrots. Make sure you chop them. Wow, this looks great. It's definitely carrots. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna put the batter on the pan. It's gonna be really thin. So if I don't have enough batter for my truffles, I'm just gonna ditch the truffles. I got a couple of the things I wanna do anyway. All right, so you're just gonna spread it out on this pan really thin like you would a pumpkin roll. There you go. Some carrot cakes have you put nuts, but I have lots of people in my family that don't like nuts, so we're gonna ditch the nuts. But you can add, um, I think it's what, walnuts for a carrot cake, crushed walnuts. All right, and you're just gonna spread this out in your pan. It's gonna be really thin. All right, we're just gonna spread this out. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have any extra for the truffles, so I'm gonna to have to like nix the truffles. And then we're gonna bake this at 375. It's not gonna take long. And then I'm gonna make my cream cheese frosting. All right, there we go. The carrot roll is done, so we're gonna put it on here and roll it up as it cools, because if you don't, it's gonna like cool and be flat. So we're gonna put this on here and let me see, I'm gonna need some hot pads or something. Here we go. All right. All right, are we ready? <laughs> Here we go. All right, please work. All right. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna move this up so it can cool in the circular shape. And we're gonna set this aside until it cools and then we'll do the cream cheese. Now we're gonna make the lemon pretzel dessert. So we're first gonna start by baking the bottom crust, which is two and a half cups of crushed pretzels. I actually use the butter ones because I thought that might be kind of cool because you add butter anyway. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom. And then it is um, two thirds cup of brown sugar. Just kind of mix that all over here. Two tablespoons of flour. And then two teaspoons of vanilla. And then um, one stick of melted butter. And we're gonna bake this um, for about 15 minutes on 375. And then we'll get our next layer, which is a cream cheese layer ready. All right. And now we're gonna stir it together. Mix it really good. I didn't do it in a bowl because then I have extra dish I have to do. You're just gonna mix this and then we're gonna pat it in the bottom. Okay. Now we're just gonna pat it down and bake it at 375 for about 15 minutes. And then we'll let that cool and we'll get our other layers going while we're waiting for this to cool down. While the pretzel crust is going, we're gonna put together the, the filling for the cream, the cream cheese filling. So it is two blocks of cream cheese, two cups of Cool Whip, and two cups of powdered sugar. But we do have to wait for the pretzel dip to, um, to cool, or the pretzel crust to cool before we add this, but let's just get it ready now. cups of powdered sugar. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There's one. And there is two. 
Now we're gonna mix this together and set it aside. I love cream cheese with powdered sugar. I love cream cheese with butter. I love cream cheese frosting. I love cream cheese filling. I love lemon. Can't wait to try this dessert. So my carrot cake is cooled. We're going to get the cream cheese ready to go. We're gonna put it inside the carrot cake. Then we're gonna roll, roll the carrot cake up and then it's ready. And then you just slice it and, and it's ready to go. So it is one block of cream cheese one stick of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then one cup of powdered sugar. We're gonna work, mix that together. Ooh, has it been a long day. I'm almost done with what I wanted to do. I'm kind of bummed I couldn't make the truffles, but I mean, it is now 5.30. I've been down here since 11. I'm just tired. Wow, this looks amazing. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a coffee break. Woo wee! I am back and forth, 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 back and forth. Um, all I have left to do is finish up the, um, the lemon uh, pretzel things and just show you guys everything I've done. And then tomorrow you'll see the full full display, the whole Easter thing. So we're gonna roll this out. Okay. And then let me get my little spatula. And then we're just gonna spread it with the cream cheese. So I have two different recipes I'm making. One has is not, doesn't have the butter and it just has the cream cheese and then one has um, just cream cheese with uh, no butter. So there's lots of different ways that you can, I don't wanna lose any of this. Okay, let's spread it on. Make sure you get to the very edge too. And I like to put a pile in the middle and then just kind of go out with it because I don't wanna tear the cake because it is very thin. Whoever invented this is a wonderful idea. Like whoever was like the originator of the pumpkin roll and then thought, let's make a carrot cake roll. Genius. You're genius. My Robert, he really likes cream cheese too. All right. Yeah, that looks good. Let's get these very edges here. I really thought my recipes were gonna be a little more involved, so I was kind of stressed when I woke up this morning. I'm just like, am I gonna be able to do this? So I'll, I, I do, I forgot I have to go decorate the church. I bought everything for the church to decorate for um, Easter, so I still have to do that. But I told my family, I said, if you could just give me till six, we're all gonna go over and decorate the church. I got the cutest little decorations. Um, my pastor's wife usually does it, but she's really been, They've had a lot going on in their family. And um, so I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna give her a little break and just, and I usually help decorate anyway. I just don't want her to be stressed to have to worry about that. So I thought I'm just gonna take it upon my, sometimes you don't wait to be asked. You just do things for others. That's what it's about, right? Okay, there we go. So now we're just gonna start rolling. You can use your, there we go. You can put powdered sugar on the outside if you want. I don't think I'm gonna. Look at this baby. I'm gonna roll it back in the towel and I'm gonna stick it in the fridge just a little longer so it can set. And then I'm gonna slice it up. Whew, getting things done. Crust is done. I overcooked it a little bit. So I'm a little upset with that, but the show must go on. So now we're gonna put our cream cheese on top and then our pie filling and stick it in the fridge. And this is it. This is all I have left to do. And I'm ready for Easter. So now we're just gonna spread it out over our crust. There we go. Hopefully it, the overcooking didn't ruin it. Here we 
go. There we go. All right, now we're gonna pour the pipe. Actually, I'll use this again. We're gonna pour the pipe filling on now. Get this out of the way. I think I'm gonna need two. I got two cans out just in case. It smells so yummy. My poor stove is like, help me. All right, let's get this other one open. I wasn't sure if I'd need two or one or two, and I think we're gonna need two. So let's get this on here. Ooh, yummy. And then I'm just gonna stick this in the fridge. So I'll show you guys everything all done up once everything chills and stuff. That'll probably, you know, maybe be in the morning later tonight. Um, there we go. <laughs> it says you can garnish it with lemons if you want to. Maybe I'll do that in the morning. Super great. All right, there we go. I'm officially ready for Easter and I'm very tired. Me and Dolly, we're gonna go finish our cup of coffee together and relax. Good golly, Miss Dolly. Do, do, do. <laughs> so here's most of our desserts done. The banana pudding still has to be made. That's my upside down pineapple cupcakes, my birds in the nest, my lemon pretzel dessert, and my carrot cake rolls. Looks pretty good, hey? Yummy. Here is our Easter dinner all done. Deviled eggs, sweet potatoes, Arkansas green beans, granola potatoes, Grandma Lenhardt's veg all, corn casserole, potatoes, and ham. Stop that. And then there's our dessert. Stop. Okay, so we're gonna be ready to eat our dinner. Thank you for joining us on our two-day adventure of making Easter dinner. Make sure to subscribe to Just the Bells 10. Happy Easter again.